Hi everybody, Divya Pandit here. So here we start with our next zodiac sign that is Cancer. But before I start the reading, please press the bell icon and subscribe to my channel and share it with your family and friends. That is what you all have not been doing. Okay, so let's see what we have for Cancerian. And before that, please comment that what videos you would like to see. I will make those. Okay, so what we have for Cancerians in the month of July. Cancerians are feeling very low and confused in their life right now or probably their work situation or their family situation something has uh, really taking something is taking a toll on them then something is bringing them down mentally something feeling very depressed also okay something is like weighing on them some of you Cancerians must be feeling that oh I have money issues and thinking about it all the time or some of you must be feeling as if your social circle has abandoned you or your family has abandoned you, you know. So, it's really taking a toll on you mentally, a lot. Okay, let's see what we have. First week, second week, third week and fourth week. First week is going to bring you a lot of... Probably the first week of July, Cancerians, you're going to have a lot of dreams. When you sleep, there will be a bombardment of dreams. It's like your subconscious is telling you that what are you doing? Get up. You know, the universe are going to the universe is going to send you messages through your dreams in the first week. Few of you will experience this. Few of you will all be in your mind. All the time your mind is active, thinking, thinking, I want to do this, 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 this. And few of you are going to be confused about your choices in life probably your job your life situation this is the first week energy second week you are going to try to go either on a spiritual journey or you are going to try to make a change in your life now this change that you are trying to make is going to be very very um, difficult journey for you okay this change if you're trying to change your job, if you're trying to change residence, if you're try trying to change your city, any kind of change that you're trying to make is not going to be easy for you in the second week. Second week is a really difficult time. It is going to give you a lot of spiritual lessons, a lot of learning that you are going to have about, your, about people around you, about your work, about yourself. Okay, So just be careful in the second week. If you're going on a spiritual journey, that is going to be the only thing that is going to be little smooth. Now the third week. Third week, I feel you are going to be in your emotional self more. And probably you will meet someone who will connect with your emotion and energy. This person is going to be elder to you first. And this person is going to be in a very good position. Probably this person is going to help you overcome all your obstacles in your work area. Okay, somebody like a fatherly energy is coming with a lot of help. Somebody who is very kind at heart. Maybe this person will give you right advice or some kind of help. Okay, let's see what we have in the fourth week. Fourth week, there will be sudden change. Suddenly, if you were looking for a job, suddenly you will find the job. Suddenly, overnight in two days, you will see there is some difference in your business suddenly in a positive manner. It's going to be there's there's going to be a lot of surprises for you in the fourth week. Okay, surprisingly things will start moving well. Surprisingly things are going to, you know, you're going to find something that you were looking for. The fourth week has very good energy. There is a karmic change. There's a lot of blessings. There's a lot coming in the fourth week for you, Cancerians. Fourth week is all about a sudden change, surprise change, job offer business doing well or anything that you were looking for suddenly you will find it suddenly you're disappointed and suddenly you're going to find it you know what i mean whatever you've gone through in the past people have backstabbed you like there's a lot of ending of a lot of uh, um, maybe business association or friendships which you are very disappointed about fourth week is going to give you everything okay this is what july is for you cancerians Let's see. See, we are in the year of Shani, 8th number. There are a lot of karmic lessons we are going to learn this year, all of us. So let's see what we have in your relationship, Terry. 
I feel uh, in the month of July, Cancerians are just being with themselves. They are coming out of their um, uh, where they had you know pulled themselves back in a lot of relationship. They are coming out of that. They are reconsidering their options in life. They are coming out as a very pure heart energy. They just want that only nothing else, which is, uh, which you will not find Cancerians until you work on yourself. Okay. Now for single people, I feel they have to work on their own personal power and choose what they are wanting in life. Only then they will find somebody, right? Which I don't see in the month of July. And people who are married already have partners. They are still holding on to their fears, to their heart chakra as if like I can't let go of my, uh, you know, toxic past. They're still daydreaming, they're still thinking about it, you know, that things will happen or no, things will happen or no. They're still thinking about it. They are going to be cancerians, mostly you will be in your mind, in your head, just like the first card when I removed the tarot. There is nothing much happening in your relationship area in the month of July. Okay, things will be the way it is. You still have to heal to move forward. If you are looking out for pure love, then that pure love will not come unless you have healed your inner child. Okay, unless you have healed your inner child. If you need any kind of inner child healing, please let me know. Let's see what Ganeshi wants to tell you. Cultivation. I feel this card says that you should cultivate some kind of ability, new ability in you or you should follow some kind of hobby, okay, cultivate something new or help somebody to cultivate something new, Ganeshji is helping you in choosing or you know walking in that path which you are always wanted to, maybe your heart's desire, he is helping you in that, he will help you in whatever you choose. If you are trying to cultivate some art or some kind of a new hobby or some kind of new path, he is going to help. Alright? So that's all for today. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook and X and uh, threads and everywhere else. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's all. Take care. Bye-bye.